Hello, this is me, Georgie Jane Sad, and I'm playing Tomb Raider Anniversary. This is the TRAE menu hook, and this allows me to put any character in any level and play any level from any checkpoint. And I put in the Underworld Lara, and this is going to be Doppelganger. So this is the Sanctuary Scion, or Scion, or whatever you want to call it. And what I'm going to do here is select Doppelganger, and then put in all weapons and then get ammo for those guns and put some health packs in because it doesn't give you any health packs to start the level because I'm not playing from a previous level with anything I'm not carrying anything over so I'm going to add them in and I'll just edit all them bits out this is a dub I'm not actually playing it right now and what happened was when I did this level yesterday the first part of it the audio was quite glitchy so I re-recorded this today and then I'm doing the audio now the next part of the level we're going to those rooms with the light thing, the light puzzles. I did them yesterday and the audio was okay on those sections. So we're going to do this thing here, pick up all the health packs. I don't need as many, I just might as well pick up as many as I can to get through. Otherwise I'll be stuck or get killed. I don't want to be having to fight these things and everything and that stupid checkpoint business. Can't save within a level properly, it's like you have to go from each one. You can't go between them, so it's like, ugh. So I got good weapons there. And this is the uh, doppelganger from Underworld. Ow. These guys are telling actually work for the same ah. boss, actually. Doppelganger, tell them, work for that one. They'll go, oh, okay, oh, you're one of us. Or something, unless he's Egyptian and they're not actually to do with that. They're not like the same things in the uh, Atlantis thing. Or maybe they're not. Oh, I don't know. I'm guess. I'm guessing. I pick up a few more bullets that I left. You get a limited amount of what you can actually pick up, and even with this mod, you can't pick up like an infinite amount of health packs or bullets, which is kind of weird, but. This is fun. This is this bit with this um, puzzle thing, and you got to turn them. And I didn't know what the hell I was doing on it. I mean, I know I could just fly up there with the cheap. I thought, you know what, I'll play it. I'll have a go I'll, in the spirit of the game. We'll show Lara or Doppelganger. That's quite a good effort. I think they did a thing where they lifted it, like with the AOD, Ancient of Darkness mod I did before. They don't recreate it, they lift it, I think. And this is uh, anniversaries before. Underworld, so it's not too different. I'm not sure about the engines, there are different engines, but the I'm not sure about exactly the skeletal side of it. They just put it on, and then it's like it fits pretty well, looks pretty good. So they did a good job with that. This thing here, I had no idea what I was doing. I sped through most of this. It's that thing where you've got to turn these stupid things. I'm sure you could just climb up the obelisks. I mean, the hole above is like What's that? 35 foot at most. So you could theoretically climb up there if it was real. I think there'd be like a door on it or something, but there's no... If it was real, I mean, stupid. I mean, you'd just get a ladder or get a rope or climb up the obelisks because you could probably do that. Or something. The arrogance of Crystal Dynamics there. Imagine the original. I remember the original one. There was a thing where I remember there was. This is the the level with the the bit before this is a big courtyard, and then there's like those this is bef yeah this is the level before Atlantis, so it's all that business before was with um, drawbridge things that came down. And then, if this was comparing it to the original game, this would have been um, a bit underneath, and then you climb up, and then you're in that big massive room with the Sphinx. So, this bit they thought, I know what we'll do is make it really difficult to get in there, and it'll make the level last ages, because they didn't know how to make it better, they just reimagined it, but it was like a bit, a bit too easy. See, so we'll make it hard. So you got to do this. It'll make it quite difficult. So it's kind of vague and not altogether obvious what you got to do. 
and then make it overly complicated so it looks like we're really clever crystal dynamics they did this thing where they, they like to make themselves look really clever so they did this business with this you go hmm, it's one of those meaning trap things unnecessary padding like with them things that crush you and all that business it's like you have to match it was the, I think it was the green cup thing on the back wall that's the one you gotta pay attention to I think and the guy with the doll on the tray is on the opposite corner to the green cup thing I think that was it and I did get it to work I very nearly gave up and flew up there with the cheat I thought no I'll have a go I'll play it within the spirit even though I'm cheating and picking levels and you know picking checkpoints or whatever I'll just play it from, the, from this section here and um, have a go at this stupid puzzle that doesn't make any sense that's completely illogical because if it was really just get a ladder and all you climb up the obelisks somehow if someone wanted to get in there tell the depth of crystal dynamics uh, imagination on this one they went you know what we're gonna have this room yeah and you gotta make this thing come out of the ground right even though it's totally implausible I'm looking at this bit I'm just trying to show what I did so I did cheat because I don't think you can cheat on this bit other than flying anyway but the green picture the green cup on the wall there is the main thing you've got to turn facing outwards I think that's what it was it's like they didn't want you going in there to be honest what we're going to do right we're going to have this bit here we've got to turn these things so people will be like totally amazed by it and they were like, wow, Crystal Dynamics are amazing, aren't they? they they're taking over the franchise. And they won't like it, it'll be completely boring and annoying. And a lot of people would give up and go, oh man. And they probably solved it by accident and gone, no, I haven't got a clue how this, how it works. Neither did Crystal Dynamics, to be honest. He wants to do this for like 20 minutes. I did it for 8 minutes and just guessed it. There it is. Unnecessary, boring, and it's annoying. I mean, seriously, what if one of them fell over because things do over time or subsidence? You could have gone, I've got to climb up that. I'm trying to, th I'm trying to work out at this point what it is that I did right. What matches what? It was the green cups, and the opposite corner is opposite to the green cup, and then the green cup, and then the opposite one is they're matching with the doll on the tray, and that I don't know, to be honest. The ten minutes, I, don't, I thought I didn't really matter, to be honest. I mean, it should be like twice that height. You would have gone, okay, that's plausible. But there's a ladder. Why is there a ladder there? <laughs> Why is there? Well, I just had to go all the way to the bottom. I got to the bottom bit that it broke off. So did it go all the way down to the bottom? Oh man, Crystal Dynamics. Have a word with yourselves. This bit, I wasn't sure if, I f if I'd fall off going there. Or did I need to climb up the ladder from the bottom? I don't know. There it is. Then you get this bit here, which is the... Which was this bit? This bit, now this bit I couldn't get. When I did it yesterday, I just gave up on this bit and just flew across it. After about nearly 10 minutes trying to get across there, there's a knack or some kind of thing you've got to do where she hangs on the wall on that ledge and then you have to do something. And I can't put it is because I haven't got the guide open and I didn't research it and I haven't played it properly in like a year. So she has to do something here and I thought she needed to go on the bottom thing that goes on down and jump to her left and she didn't do that so I don't think you have to do that but I don't know and if you jump across she doesn't get the ledge anyway and I don't know what you have to do something I don't know what it is so I was like um, they try and fool you into doing something as if the lower one you go on that lower one and then it goes starts to go down and then you jump across she's just the right le like level with it but it's like uh, it's just a bit of filler, it's just a bit more padding there to slow you down, make the game last a bit longer. 
And there's one of them patting themselves on the back like, exercise that they did. Yeah, I fell off there. I just cheat there, to be honest. I have contempt for crystal dynamics on that bit. Start putting bits of filler and padding in that stop you going in. The room looks tiny. This is another thing about this whole game here, where everything looks smaller than the original. I don't know why. I don't want you going in there. Can't you climb up there, Doppelganger? you got superpowers now, you can climb up there. Quite easy. The way she moved in Underworld when she was in Lara's Manor, I mean, you think she could get up there, right? Never mind. There's another ladder. How convenient. There's a ladder there. You'd never get down, would you? This room. Wouldn't it be full of water and all kinds of stuff, wouldn't it, if it was real? Pick up some ammo. That's nice. Oh, I don't know if I can pick that up. No. Okay. I can read everything's clean. It's well lit. There's no scorpions or spiders or anything that can kill you. Why aren't there any gorillas in here? You'd think you'd expect that, wouldn't you? Something. That or, um, pubers or something. I mean, they wouldn't say, oh, they wouldn't get down here, would they? Maybe they would. They'd climb up that thing. They've got rats in here. Why can't you have, um... Tigers or something, or a bear. There'd be a bear in here, wouldn't there? Even though we're in Egypt, it wouldn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. They just make it up as they go along, to be honest. There's... that's the way out from the other room. So we've got to go across the top. So if those things go up and down where you can't... There's levers on either side that bring that thing up and down so you can go along the stairs. It's like they decided so you can't get in. But look, there's a ladder. Why is there a ladder? They don't want you going in there. Doesn't make any sense to me. Unless it's not a ladder and it's just decoration, but they would have been a bit stupid to put a thing on the wall and go, you know what? We put this thing, it looks pretty, doesn't it? But what if someone tries to climb up it? Oh, they hadn't invented ladders at the time, so they probably didn't think of that when they made it. Oh, joy. And what are these for? It's funny how convenient these haven't rotted away. How old are they? 4,000 year old poles. Wouldn't they break? No. It's just the thing where she doesn't quite get on the ladder, that might be something to do with the mod or the fact that the tra the, the TRA venue hook might have something to do with that. Because it's funny, or maybe it's because it's running on the third gen I series, I don't know. These games were made for, um, what was 2007? Latter-day P4s, Prescott era, AGP times A graphics. Get on there, Doppy, for crying out loud. Um... Yeah, so this is like, this machine is the third Jedi series, so maybe there's some things that might not work well with it. We need to get over there, and I wasn't sure which way I had to go, either jump to that pillar or go over here, but it is over here. And what she she nearly doesn't get it, which is like, uh, like she doesn't go for it, and then she goes for it, which is quite funny. This bit is where well, you think if you go down, you can't. You might fall right down the bottom again. This nonsensical corner, climbable pillars, which is weird. How? Why is it these things have got big gaps in them? I don't know. That's a funny glitch. <laughs> if the pillars were cl some are climbable and some aren't, that's quite funny. That, if that wasn't like that, you'd never get in there, right? So they, you're hoping that time, the crack rendered by the hand of time, I was remembering her mental Vernon Croy, who's not in this timeline, but if he was, he'd say, "Look out for that. You gotta try and get out there." And he'd be probably racing you at the top. He'd be like, "Oh, I can beat you." Then you're gonna beat him, and he'd laugh, and then he'd tell you off. <sighs> I've gone the wrong way there, haven't I? Mistake. Right, one Croy telling you that you're an idiot going the wrong way. Climb up to the top. Yeah, there was a, there was a bit there I was a mist. That's quite funny. Oh, here come these guys. These uh, doppelganger. They're your, they're your uh, brethren. You have to tell them or something. Are these something to do with the Egyptians or something to do with that? I'm not quite sure. Ah! 
because in the first game it felt like there was something to do with her Natla, but in Egypt you think it's something to do with the Egyptian. Say, I'm working, I work for the same person, I'm, I'm doppelganger, I'm doppelganger. I might as well go over there because when I recorded it yesterday, um, I did go over there and that's a secret, so I thought, well, let's have a go doing that. And if only if they had put that invisible block in that they did, because I know obviously there was no grapple in the first game, so that would be the the thing that they did so you could get over there. And um, this game, I could have had another invisible square, which would have been quite, a, quite funny, but I don't think there's an invisible square in here, or platform. Oh, you could have just climbed through that window, it would have been a lot easier. She didn't get this, and I don't know why, and I don't know if I was doing it wrong. Yeah, you'd be again for the plunge, on Croy would be, he'd be telling you off there, wouldn't he? So he didn't do grapple hooks in those days. How oh, convenient, what is that thing on the ceiling? If there's a grapple hook there, why is it there? Because if it was real, why is there a thing on the ceiling that she can use to get over there? And you put that on there. Gotta get back. I thought, I'll have a go, I'll have another go. She's still not doing it. That might be, I don't know if that's a mod or anything to do with my computer. Being, it's quite an old game. This game is four years older than my machine. Well, my, my machine is nearly, just over ten years old now. I'll have another go. No, she wasn't getting this, so I don't know what that was about. There's a further thud, which was funny. Shame there's not a ladder going up there, Lara, just like that. I sped through this because I was like, ugh. I'll go and get it again. So it seems like you don't pick it up. If you pick it up when you die, you can't have it. So I don't know if it counts if you don't survive before the next checkpoint. I'm not entirely sure. A shadow looks really funny. <laughs> just two legs. Yeah, I'll just cheat. Do that bit. <coughs> it's a glitchy game, to be honest. Another pole, and this goes to that first room with the light puzzle thing in it. A bit of realism. And then, uh, I often just fell off this sometimes. When I come over and I just fall off it. Drop, drop. Yeah, you pull this lever and it's like you're not, they don't want you walking in, but they didn't, they didn't think people would have been ladders. So it's a bit of a weak way to get in. Like, are you keeping you out like that? I mean, seriously. And this goes to this stupid area here with this bit of filler. This looks suspect, very suspect. Were they going to put something there? There might have been an idea to put a thing there. You get this going on. Really, just to build a wall, wouldn't you? You'd have a wall. Something. Or the rotating blade things or something. It's like, yeah. There you got me. I can never seem to do this first time ever. Is it driven by sand? No, just didn't get it. See, she's supposed to have superpowers. Again. Just a bit of filler, it just holds you up and you go, oh this is such an incredible level. Whatever. Okay, so this is the first light room, or whatever you want to call it. Thank you, Doppy. 